A multivitamin is the single most important supplement that you can take if you have HPV and cervical dysplasia. Now, the main reason I say this is that a multivitamin covers a whole bunch of ground. Um, when I say multivitamin, I mean multivitamin, multimineral. Like for example, a good multivitamin is gonna have methylfolate in it. And we've known that folic acid deficiency can cause cervical cancer since 1966. So not only does a multivitamin have a good multivitamin have methylfolate in it, it has a whole bunch of other things that are involved in preventing um, HPV from causing cervical dysplasia. And the mechanisms whereby HPV causes dysplasia, I talk about this in my book and how certain types of nutrients and plant chemicals and different vitamins and minerals can actually block that process from happening. Now, I distinguish between a good multivitamin and one that's not good because there's a difference in multivitamins. You pretty much get what you pay for. So I'm gonna, in a little bit, I'll go through what makes a good multivitamin a good multivitamin and what makes you know a poor one a poor one. Um, I'll also uh, talk about which couple of multivitamins that I prefer and the ones that I've been using the longest. I've been doing this for 25 years, so I've used a lot of different supplements and things. But I'm talking about multivitamin because, you know, at this point in time, there's a lot of information on the internet. So mo if you're watching this video, you've probably already searched um, and found a lot of different things and, and a lot of talk about supplements and, and everything like that. But I'm still surprised at how many women that I talk to, how many patients are, when I ask, you know, because I always go through supplements and diet and things like that, you know, when we go through supplements, they end up, they're taking, you know, they're taking everything they should be taking. They're probably, they're maybe taking turmeric or curcumin, they're taking vitamin C, they're taking things for the immune system, some sort of mushroom. And then they'll say, well, I'm taking a, either folic acid by itself or taking like a, a B, you know, B complex. A B complex means it has all the B vitamins in there minus everything else. It's minus all the other minerals and everything else, you know, that are important. And that's the difference between a B complex and a multi or a, a multivitamin slash multimineral or all these other things that are in there like iodine and manganese, magnesium, molybdenum, um, zinc, um, you know, iodine, there's, there's all beta carotene, vitamin A, um, there's all sorts of other things. And many of these things also play into your immune system function as well as blocking some of the processes whereby HPV can cause dysplasia. Um, so first off, research has shown that when you take a multivitamin, it lowers HPV viral load and also prevents dysplasia. So we know that just simply by taking a multivitamin, it's actually gonna improve outcome. You know, there's, there's not that much information or that much research on something like mushroom extracts. So I, I like mushroom extracts. I, that's probably the second most recommended thing or this, the number two supplement that I would recommend. Um, but mushrooms, there's no mechanism whereby mushrooms actually block um, how HPV causes dysplasia. So mushrooms are great at improving immunity. It's ultimately should help clearing the HPV itself, but if the HPV is still there, it still can be undertaking some of the mechanisms that end up causing dysplasia. So what makes a good multivitamin a good multivitamin and why do some multivitamins cost so much more than other you know, multis that you might just get over the counter at Walgreens or at a GNC or something like that. It's the ingredients. So they have different ingredients and some are more expensive and more effective than others. And that's, that's it basically in a nutshell. You get what you pay for. You can't expect to, um, you know, get a, a $100,000 car for $10,000, right? It just doesn't happen. So you, you, you get what you pay for. Um, so for example, when you look at a supplement, and one of my criteria, what I first look at, because I always try to work with people, so, and I don't like to, I don't like to be pushy with supplements normally when patients come in to see me, so I'll usually have them bring their supplements, and then if they are taking a multivitamin, I'll look at the multivitamin, and one of the first things I look at first off is what's the folic acid? If it just says folic acid or folate, it's not methylated. And we've known now for probably about maybe 10, 12 years, that many women that have an MTHFR mutation or methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase mutation, enzyme mutation, they can't methylate folic acid properly. So you can have the best diet in the world. And this is where some vegetarians and vegans make the mistake is they think, well, I'll get all my vitamins and minerals from my diet. Well, 
you know, good luck with that. That's presupposing that you that the food you're eating is actually high quality, and just because it's organic doesn't necessarily mean it's high in nutrient content either. But you could have the best diet in the world, be getting tons of folic acid from bitter leafy greens or, or dark leafy greens, and yet your body's not utilizing it well because you have this um, mutation in the ability to methylate folic acid and then because you have to methylate it first for folic acid to do what it wants to do so you could have the best diet in the world but if you have this mth of our mutation which we've known as i said for about at least about 12 years that when you have this mutation you have higher rates of cervical cancer so we know there's a relationship there with folic acid um, but you bypass that mutation by simply taking a, um, a methyl form of folic acid so you look on the bottle and if it doesn't say something methylfolate 5 methyl tetrahydrofolate or something methylfolate then it's just regular folic acid and you shouldn't be taking it that's a sign at this point in time all multivitamins should have a methylated form of folic acid so that's that's my first sign you know first sign of looking at it and saying i don't think this is very good the other thing and maybe maybe even more importantly are the mineral chelates so minerals are normally going to be bound to some sort of other compound either or and it'll make it either organic or inorganic and they call them um, chelates so if your multivitamin doesn't have something like zinc citrate or zinc picolinate or zinc oxide if it just says like zinc that's immediate red flag that's junk because it, it, normally a good multivitamin or a reputable company is going to cite the type of chelate it is. Same thing, any of the minerals. Ma magnesium should say magnesium citrate or aspartate or something like that. If you look on your bottle and it says magnesium oxide, that's cheap. It's junk because it doesn't work. You're not absorbing it. It's not working. I wouldn't even take it. I wouldn't even waste money on you know, a, a supplement where that's costing like $10 or $15. Um, the chances are those are junk. And why would you spend money on junk? Um, so one of the ways you can determine whether it's a good supplement is again looking at the types of minerals that are in it. Now there's another benefit of taking a multivitamin and this is where again why I'm doing this video is because I see a lot of women that are taking individual supplements. So they're taking vitamin E separately, they're taking selenium, they're taking a, a B complex, maybe a separate methylfolate. Um, you know, they're taking all these things separately. So as a result, they're taking maybe five, six different supplements that could be combined into one supplement. So doing a good multivitamin is also more cost effective because you're only going to be, and simpler, because you're taking one supplement instead of six or eight different. And you're still, you're never going to be taking as many individually as you get in that one, in that one multivitamin. And also in the multivitamin, um, there's balance so there's some competition between especially with minerals in certain minerals with other minerals For example zinc and copper if you get too much zinc it can suppress copper and vice versa so good um, good vitamins good multivitamins have a balance so that you don't end up running into problems with competition and things like that and, and end up with a potential deficiency um, due to inhibition of absorption because something's too high. So I would much rather somebody take the amount of selenium because you're not going to have ridiculous amounts uh, and especially the minerals which are, are more likely to cause you problem than, than water soluble B vitamins. But you're not going to see like super high levels of selenium in a multivitamin. Whereas if you know if you're taking a selenium supplement by itself, the chances are you're going to be taking possibly taking more than what you want. Um, so again, it just makes more sense to use a multivitamin, multimineral that's covering a lot of ground. And, and again, rather than take the supplement separately, you know, like for example, vitamin E may be um, helpful with HPV and dysplasia. Vitamin A and beta carotene may be helpful. But do you really, and those are all in a good multivitamin, but do you really want to be taking all these different separate um, supplements? I don't think so. So as far as what are my favorite supplements? this. Are my favorite multivitamins. This is my this is Phytomulti by Metagenics. So this is the multivitamin that I've been using the longest. I like it. Um, I have a link to where you can order the Phytomulti on Metagenics website. It's a direct link, um, you know, to my kind of my dispensary on on that site. But what I like about the Phytomulti is it has. You know, it has a good amount of the methylated form of folic acid. It has 
a good amount of vitamin D. So again, if you're looking at just taking one thing and trying to simplify things, and I'm always trying to simplify things. So I like to do as little as possible to get the job done. So I'm not, I'm, I don't tend to put everybody on, I don't put everybody on the same supplement regimen. I, I kind of pick and choose. There's certain things that I tend to use with everybody. So obviously multivitamin is one of those things that I tend to use with everybody. Um, but I try to do as little as possible to get the job done whether it's supplements, whether it's diet, whether it's the actual treatment, whether it's escherotic treatment, I try to do as little as possible to get the job done just to keep it cost effective. And that's kind of what I did since the 90s when I started doing treatment for dysplasia. I didn't know much in the beginning, so I tended to use more things and, and I was probably a little um, over treated in some cases. I just didn't know as much about it, but over the years I've, I've, I've kind of come to a better understanding. So there's some things that are more important in some people than others. So I'm not gonna treat everybody with the same thing, obviously. But the Phytomulti has a good amount of vitamin D. It has um, 400 milligrams of a plant chemical extract. So this is what makes Phytomulti so good is it's, it has all of, you know, all the minerals, they're good chelates, it has all the vitamins in there. Um, but it also has zeaxanthine and lutein and some other um, carotenoid type compounds and then the 400 milligrams of the, it's 13 different plant extracts. And because they're extracts, they're more concentrated. For example, green tea is one of the extracts that's included in, in that blend of 13. And 400 milligrams is appreciable. So it's enough that it actually gives the auric value or it gives it a really high auric value. Auric value is how you measure antioxidant or free, um, free radical, um, quelching kind of activity or the ability to nullify free radicals. So auric value is oxygen radical absorbance capacity. So the higher the auric value, the better. This Phytomulti has an auric value that's, I think it's around 24,000, which is ridiculously high. Normally an auric value on a multivitamin is gonna be really, really low because most multivitamins have just the vitamins and minerals. They don't tend to have other plant compounds. Or if they do have other plant compounds, and this is another thing that's, um, that's indicative of a, a cheap multivitamin is it'll have everything under the sun in it. So it'll say like it's a women's um, multi-complete or something and it'll have black cohosh, it'll have all these different plant compounds, but when you actually look at the amount of the plant compound, it's really, really low, like it might be 10 milligrams or something and it's not a plant extract, it's actually the whole plant. So it might be like dried rhizome or dried root uh, that's very different than an extract. An extract is much, much more concentrated. So the 400 milligrams that you get in that Phytomulti end up um, being really, really effective. So that's probably my favorite or that's my number one multivitamin. If you're ordering other supplements, um, like from Thorn, Thorn is where I get most of my supplements. So my curcumin, folic acid, vitamin D, uh, mushroom extract, things like that. I, I, most of that I do through Thorn Research and I have a link um, in the video description below that goes direct to my dispensary at Thorn, where it has all those listed in the dispensary. But if you're, or if you're already going there to order, then I would, I would consider maybe doing um, the Thorn's multivitamin, which is Thorn Multivitamin Elite. What's nice about this is, again, it's a really good multivitamin, but it, it separates the um, into an AM and a, and a PM. So it's actually two separate bottles. Um, and obviously, as it implies, you take one in the morning and one at night. What I like about the Thorn Research multivitamin is uh, it has Mariva and a green tea phytosome in it. So Mariva is a proprietary type of um, curcumin supplement that has phosphatidylcholine in it, which creates what's called a phytosome. So phytosomes increase the absorption substantially, maybe 20 to 30 times more absorption. And they also help the substance penetrate the cell walls. So it, once it gets into your bloodstream, it's more likely that you're gonna uptake it into the cell and utilize it where you wanna use it. So the AM formula of that has uh, the Mariva, or the, the curcumin phytosome, and it also has a green tea phytosome in it as well. And then the, um, the PM has some things for stress, for keeping cortisol levels down. So if you're under a lot of stress or if you're, um, and the way Thorne markets that actually is their elite multi because um, you know it's recommended for like high, high performance athletes and things like that. Um, but if you're, if you're not sleeping well or, or you're under a lot of stress or something like that, that might be a little bit better because it has 
a magnolia extract and some other things in there that help lower cortisol and help with sleep, which is why those are in the PM um, capsule is to help with stress and help with sleep. It also has lutein and lycopene and some other things in there too um, that, that just make it better. So the most important thing to do, eat well, eat a plant-based diet, eat maybe a whole food plant-based diet ideally, and then take a good multivitamin and then from there, you know, use different supplements depending on your specific situation. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you'd like some more videos like this.